so today, like I said from last video, if he made it that far, uh, I'm gonna be doing a little progression guide from start from the start of Skyblock to basically up to where I am now, because um, I see and I see in the hubs a lot. And sometimes even in the comments of my older videos I was like, how did you get get so much money? That's basically the most asked question. How did I get so much money? How did I get a Hyperion in three months with getting Thorn Armor? And yeah, I guess that will be explained now. Which is going to be my how I progressed. And you can basically follow if you want and make take a little bit of a different approach. Now, speaking of that, um, giveaway 30 mil, 30 million coin giveaway at 250 subs. We have still as of recording 160. Yeah, 160. So, less than 100 away. If you want. Uh, if you want the chance to win, make sure you're subbed and join my Discord server, which is linked in the description. Now, at the start, you are going to just follow whatever they say up here. They can say, like, break a log, make a workbench, make a pickaxe. Because it all starts once you enter to the hub island, where they will, again, tell you to do specific things, and just do it. you're going to eventually do it anyway, so might as well get it over with. And you're going you're gonna to see a quest where they tell you to talk to villagers, like that, like Jack, like Leo, that other guy over there, where I can't see his name. But I would say this is the most important one, and why is there so much stuff here? I don't need it. Okay. But I would say this is the most important one, because this is where you get the rogue sword. Which is going to be one of the most useful utility tools you should be getting and keeping throughout your whole gameplay of Skyblock. And once you're done, they're, they're going to tell you to go over there, the farming islands. They're going to tell you to cut some trees. And I'm lagging here, so I'm going to leave the hub. That's better. So they're going to tell you to do, to grind just a little bit. You're going to have a tiny grind to go explore those islands. You're going to have a small grind to explore those islands, the farming islands, and or this is the farming island, that's the foraging island, and after those, uh, you should have a okay amount of money, like a few thousand. That's when you go here and buy an undead sword. Because at the start of the game, you're basically just going to be killing undead things. So, an undead sword. And also, this is actually not that bad. Because diamond armor with growth. And it gives a okay amount of uh, health and defense at the start. You can also go for leaf armor. From foraging. Really cheap, just a bunch of leaves to craft it. It gives a little more health. No defense though, so that's a thing. But yeah, leaflet armor, diamond armor, with specifically this one with growth one. Undead sword. That's basically your starting stuff, which will branch off a lot. And that's basically what I started with. Now, 
Now when you go here and you get meet the requirements to move on, you're gonna go to the gold mine. This place isn't that important to be honest. Once you once you leave this place, you're like never gonna really come back. So let me go to the deep caverns, which is probably, in my opinion, the most important starting game place. Because this is where you're going to get your first real set of armor, which is lapis armor. So you're going to go here, talk to this guy, and he's going to tell you to go down, because he's not going to bring you down unless you've explored the mines yourself. And it's just back here, the way down. So you're going to go here, and with your undead sword, which you should have smite on, uh, just kill these guys. Kill these guys, explore all the way down first, so you can just have all the teleportations. But yeah, just kill these guys, like they're, like they're doing. Uh, let me look, let me look for a guy, as an example. Because I don't have, I don't think I have my lapis anymore. You're not that good of an example. Look at that guy. He's grinding for... Here he has full lapis, actually. So, he's fine. This one bought the growth one diamond set. and has a sweet axe. He's grinding for money. I know that much. So, you're going to be here for a while. Unless you decide to buy it. Which, honestly, not a bad option. I personally bought mine. I grinded for a few pieces, but I actually bought my set. And once you reach down here, you want to grind here just a little bit. You don't want the minor armor. I personally would not recommend it because it only it's only good here. Only good here. Lapis armor is good. It's just good. Good for XP. It's good for, yeah, it's good for getting a normal XP, which is actually really important. It's good for, basically, just your small tanking. Because, let me look at full set buff. Lapis. Right here. You can increase health of 60. Which is really good at the start. Now, once you get lapis armor, once you get your undead sword, you're going to be grinding down here, killing minor skeletons and zombies for a while, until you reach, I'd say, combat 15 to 18, which is not too bad at all, actually. And that's when you're going to, well, I guess in between of grinding 15 to 18, you could upgrade your lapis armor to ender armor. Ender armor, really cheap. I'd say no more than 50k a piece. And you should be getting it as you're grinding for combat 15 to 18. And your first weapon after the after the undead sword should be this thing right here. My good old retired aspect of the end, which I've had even after. Now this thing, as you can see, lowest bin price, 150k. That's not bad. Your ender armor is going to be more expensive than this. And it's pretty good too for start. 100 damage, 120, 125. Oh, no, wait, that has a reforge. 100 strength, 100 damage. There we go. And you can teleport. This is going to be another important utility item until you get a Hyperion 
or just anything with the wither impact any of the wither swords you're going to be having this the whole time along with the rogue sword so as you were grinding you should be getting ender armor or even if you don't want ender armor you can just go for this which is actually not a bad choice uh, as well because you're going to be one tapping things down there you can probably even go to the dwarven mines if you wanted to which is a little bit of a higher level area but it's a it's a good area to start out with because mine makes a lot of money you can actually have some progression here and my power crystals are ready i'll ignore that for now you can go to the dwarven mines you can go not kill ghosts but you can possibly kill like the goblins here get their armor they won't be too useful but it's mining armor if you want it so yeah aspect of the end um and lapis armor or ender armor let me go back to my island now after after lapis armor or as you're getting possibly getting the aspect of the end you can be making a farm now it doesn't have to start out like this my farm my start was really small it was at least let's say this big from here from here to here and the whole way through here not even all the way back there just one small row and that was enough to get me okay amount of money you will but you would want to make a max size farm if you have an island without a max size farm i'm actually going to be surprised because this is basically how i got all the money to progress really really fast now now if you get ender armor then that means you can go to the end and i did not do this but you can if you wanted to you can grind zealots which i again i would not recommend grinding zealots as a pain and rng base and you can make a lot more money from farming because jacob hunts a sort of thing Yeah, you can participate in Jacob contest and get Jacob tickets, which you should use to ma help make your farms better. Uh, let me go here, go here. Okay. So up here is where you can change Jacob tickets and medals. Now... The infinite dirt one pretty okay but it's the only thing you can buy without a metal but you can see what you can get with just the tickets you can get a basket of seeds you can what is that i actually never seen that oh okay that's convenient <laughs> Uh, you can get this which is a very important avoid breaking stems and baby crops uh you can, this this right here this is what you should be after if you're not doing pumpkins or melons if you're doing pumpkin or melon then melon dicer pumpkin dicer but mathematical whole blueprint that's what you should be going for pumpkins or melons should be your first gold medal though because that's the easiest aside from wheat but yeah, pumpkin, melons, not too 
too hard to get a gold medal from. Wheat as well. That's how I actually that's how I actually got my first gold medals. And that's basically where it all started. I grinded farming for a long time. Like I am farming forty. I just started getting lazy from farming, to be honest. But I started with pumpkins and went down to sugar cane one layer because it was enough for me. I made nether wart and started farming all three at the same time. And then these used to be three carrots, three rows of carrots. When they used to be the best crop. I don't know what's the best crop right now. I just want my potatoes for fun. But again, crop, like, up to you. But I highly recommend farming. Because farming got me my Shadow Assassin set. It got me my Livid Dagger and Flower of Truth. It got me my Baby Yeti, which is 30 mil for one. I level one. And yeah, and that's when I started Dungeons. But we're not there yet. So after, so once you make your farm, your little starting farm, you can possibly even have a small layer, one layer. Uh, after Ender, do you want? Or right, after Ender slash Lapis Armor, depending on what style of progression you want, you could go for. Uh. Well, not specifically strong, but any of the dragon sets will be fine. And this is why I said to go combat 15 to 18, because I think they have a requirement somewhere in between that. I'm pretty sure it's 18, but you need a combat requirement of, I'm just going to say 18, to even wear it. So that's where that small grind is going to come from. But... The armor, like once you start getting the armor, depending on what you can get, should uh, depend, should branch out to your progression. Because when I started, I decided to go for strong, which led me to being berserker class to start with. Or I changed to mage class. But yeah chose strong and became a berserker if you choose wise armor uh then you can go mage if you choose young armor then basically you still have more time to choose because young armor can be used for anything maybe except tank but yeah uh the three sets i would highly recommend depending on what you want should be wise dragon um strong dragon and young dragon unstable is okay but not that good old armor i'm just not going to talk about it protector armor i'm also not going to talk about it and superior armor just don't get it. It's not that good anymore. You can have it for fun. I was honestly thinking about it. But it costs so much I just chose not to. So yeah. Strong, young, wise. And depending on your choice should branch out to whatever class you wanted to play. So strong for berserker archer. Um, wise for healer, mage. Like, I'll say, you know what, I'm just going to say old dragon. Old dragon and protector dragon, if you want to do tank. Which is fine. So, yeah. Unstable. I'm just going to say don't get it. But if you want a cheap dragon set, I guess unstable would be fine. A cheap and decent set. How much is unstable now, actually? And look at that. Some of the pieces are cheaper than an aspect of the 
of the end. How do you know they're not good? So yeah, little cheap budget set. Wrong dragon. When you look at the price. Uh, 500k, so you do have to grind like a few mil. Wise, dragon, same thing, and grind up a few mil. Young dragon, okay, really cheap, what? Really cheap, but this is more, u more of a utility set, because if you're still farming, which I did, I did and you don't have pumpkin boots or farmer boots uh you're gonna be using young dragon armor to make things more efficient and maximize how much you farm i'm just literally uh young dragon is just so you can run faster but it's also good for um i'm just gonna say more useful for mage class and yeah mage class and for running around <laughs> you want to get places faster so yeah and your weapon along with the dragon set will be an aspect of the dragons really cheap one mil out no more than one mil is how much you should be paying for that and for a sword that does like 225 damage and 100 strength, that is worth it for the start, at least. And make sure to keep this, because again, it's a good tool to have, so you can teleport everywhere. That's basically a must if you want to play dungeons too. So yeah. I'm only mentioning dungeons a lot. Because that's basically what's going to lead to your end game, which is this weapon, this kind of armor, storm, necron, all that stuff. But yeah. Now, when now once you grab dragon armor, that's when you can start actually doing a lot more things, like maybe early stages of slayer. You can do early floors because. Now you have to grind for catacomb levels to even play the floor. Uh, like, let's see. Okay. So that's obviously where you're gonna start. And you need combat 15. So there, there's the starting grind again when I mentioned. Uh, gonna go to combat 15 to 18. So basically, at the start, you're going to be using your dragon armor. And eventually, you will grow out of it. Like, for here, when you reach floor 1, you're going to be getting a Bonzo mask, which even endgame players still use. It's because you basically get a second life. Which is really helpful. And you can use whatever dungeon set you want. I think I stayed with strong armor until after floor 1 or 2. Because I was purchasing carries. Uh, but you can go for something like zombie soldier. It's a really okay. It gives a really good amount of defense so you can tank and health. So you can see in dungeons it gives. Let me look for one with. Let me look for a good one. Uh. So let's say legendary. Yeah. So we go to this chest plate. And we go to one that isn't starred. So you're, you're going to be aiming for at least the epic one. I'm just going to show off the legendary one. So without the reforge, it gives 168 health. 
Is there one without a reforge? Guess not. But yeah, it gives a really solid amount of health, as you can see in dungeons with the clean reforge. It gives 500 health and 600 defense. And you add growth and protection to that, it'll just keep stacking. Which is really, really good. And you basically just want to stick with the aspect of the dragons. If you're a berserker. And if you're a mage, I guess you can go for a frozen scythe. Which is a really good starting mage weapon. It shoots one ice bolt for five that that hits enemies for five seconds, slows them down, and ignore the one thousand damage. It actually scales, as you can see, two thousand one hundred, two thousand four hundred, six thousand. Scales depending on the user, five thousand. Like I think I can do this. Right here it says 117k, I remove armor. Well, it didn't change. It didn't really change, but it it does scale depending on your stats. So I'm just I'm not gonna mention what sets what beginning sets you should go for for dungeons. I'm just gonna say what you should be aiming for. So I'm and I'm only gonna mention like the more common goals. So the more the most common goal is aiming for shadow assassin armor, which again at this point it shouldn't be that expensive. Cause let me look for any dungeon lowest about one mil for boots one and a half mil a little over or the helmet the leggings are gonna are gonna be a little pricey at four mil about and the chest plate you don't have to get this right away you can substitute it with a zombie soldier chest plate or a strong chest plate which is what I used. And whenever you can purchase this for 20 something mil, prices can change. The cheapest one right now is 21 and a half, or not even. What's the cheapest one? Well, 22 mil. Yeah, the cheapest one's 22 mil. So it will scale depending on the timing and i guess this is where you should be looking at that's unless you're farming then go for rabbit elephant which is a staple but again pets should depend on what class you play which so i'm not going to really mention it so like berserker mm -hmm. you want those wither baby wither skeleton baby yeti for mage you want a sheep pet, a blue whale pet, and whatever else you want. So Shadow Assassin or Berserker, if you want Mage, then go for the Zombie Soldier. Go for like wise zombie soldier armor, necrotic armor preferably. And the loving chest plate, which gives ability damage, which is basically your only damage as a mage, is your ability damage. So yeah, zombie soldier and whatever type of goggles you have. I'm not high enough for wither goggles. So I'm only using shadow goggles, which is still really good, surprisingly. It gives okay amount of health and defense it gives way more ability damage 52% in dungeons and yeah 
Now, once you are mage, you should also be aiming for after the frozen scythe. Spirit Scepter. Because this is basically going to be your weapon until you reach a Hyperion. And just like for Berserker, your weapon will be Livid Dagger, Flower of Truth, until you reach Valkyrie. Then after Shadow Assassin and uh, well, I guess Mage has an extra set. You can go for perfect armor, like I have right now, because I I sold my chest plate for a Hyperion, or to get the rest of the money for a Hyperion, because I got very impatient. So you can sell, not sell. You can get perfect armor depending on what Catacombs level you are. I'd say don't get it until you're high enough to get at least tier 7. Because at least you can tank a lot. It's, it's tier 10. Uh, which should be the max you should be getting. Um, Let's see. 300 health. 1000 defense. With the loving about 300 intelligence. So yeah. Perfect armor, if you want, for mage. But after that, that's when you start looking at uh, wither armor. If you actually want to start with wither armor. Yeah, if you want to start with wither armor, craft it to whatever set you want. I would personally just say buy the set. So, berserker, archer, uh... Storm, no wait, Berserker, Archer, Necron, Mage, Healer, is Storm Armor, and Tank, and Tank Healer, I would say Goldor, very unpopular set though, it's cheap, like really cheap, I mill how much is the chest plate that's where basically everything goes 25 mil that's really cheap this is like just an okay set I, no it's a really it's actually the the best tank set but again it kind of gets over it, i would just i would still personally stick with necron if you're playing tank because lifesteal you can you can tank with lifesteal you can play tank as a berserker <laughs> and yeah your end game weapons aside from your utility tools is like rogue sword and all that stuff hyperion valkyrie basilla so so you say it I don't know how to say, say or spell it. But any of the four Wither Blades, whatever you choose, most popular being Hyperion Valkyrie. And yeah. And that's basically it. Now, my progression was a little weird because all I did was farm and auction flip. I can't even do floor seven. Or four six, or four five consistently. So that'll be it for now. Hopefully this helped a little bit. And again, two fifty subs, thirty mil giveaway. So join the Discord server for that as well, and we'll see you next time.